Hello, everyone on Facebook and YouTube. Hello, everyone on Instagram. Robert is going to the bathroom real quick. He'll be back in just a moment. Wow, I'm sure blending into the background on the YouTube and Facebook over there. Um, he's not going to the bathroom. He's getting water, and he'll be right back. But how's everyone doing? Happy Wednesday. I feel like this camera is really, really high. How are y'all doing? We're going to be talking about, what was it? Um, what was the topic? Meat, something with meat. Game meat. Game meat. Benefits of game meat. Yep, yep, yep. That was it. Yo, yo, what's up? What's Papa Loppin? Papa Loppin. All right, so benefits of game meat. Well, from a nutrient density standpoint, wild game is hard to beat. You want to talk about that? Nope. So, all right. Let's I forgot talk about- what the topic was until about five seconds ago. All right, so you know how right now in the keto, low carb, carnivore space, there's this big controversy about uh, linoleic acid, steric acid, what's got the most uh, highest quality you know, fatty acid profile, omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, et cetera, et cetera. When you've got, um, all right, so so cattle, most cattle are going to be grass-fed the majority of their life, like 80% of their life. Then they go to either be grain-finished or grass-finished. Grass-finished cattle are usually a little bit leaner. They take a little bit more time to fully, uh, you know, develop and fatten up to get to the weight that they butchered them at. And they also have a more favorable omega-3 to omega-6 profile. Uh, grain finished, they're going to have a little bit higher omega-6 profile. They're going to have a little bit more fat. Um, they're going to be fattened up more rapidly due to the grain finishing process. <clears throat> With wild game meat, there's, depending on where the, the wild game is, like if you've got deer that are just in the middle of a cornfield eating corn as their primary diet, they're probably going to be a bit fatter and larger than the deer here in Arkansas, which are a little bit smaller and do mostly a foraging style diet. Um, and then you contrast that with like elk or something, wild elk that are living off of, you know, everything that's in, you know, Oregon, Pacific Northwest. Uh, you got mule deer living off a of sagebrush. I mean, it's a very, very different style. Oops, low battery. Very different style of nutrition. Um, and deer and most like deer, cows, those are all going to be ruminants, which means they're going to have multiple stomach chambers. So they basically upregulate the nutrition they eat. With things like um, pigs and chickens that are monogastric, like us, only having one stomach, it's much more of like a you are what you eat kind of scenario. If they eat very poor quality food, it's going to really be translated into the meat. Whereas with a ruminant, if it eats poor quality food, it can upregulate that quite a bit so that the food that we consume from them is a bit higher in quality, but still the sourcing of that matters. From a sheer wild natural sourcing standpoint, it's hard to beat the diversity that a wild deer is going to be getting compared to a feedlot cow, for instance. Um, so I'm a huge proponent of wild game meat from a nutrient density standpoint. From an ethical standpoint, I'm even much more an advocate for wild game and that be a portion of your total, total calorie intake because hunting, we can go on a whole tangent about hunting here, but hunting is incredibly important for the welfare and benefit of the animal population. Hunting I mean, most of the conservationists out there are avid hunters because hunting does so so much good for managing those deer populations, ensuring that there's not an overpopulation, which would lead to malnourishment in the population itself. Uh, so keeping those numbers in check so that they have ample food uh, with the habitat that they have is very, very important. Um, so yeah, I'm a huge fan of that. Plus, most hunters are ideally, most hunters are very um, you know cognizant of the fact that if they kill it, they want to respect the animal. And they want to use every morsel of meat that comes from that animal, all the organs, just everything in its entirety, um, because they hopefully had to work hard to procure that meat. Um, like bow hunters, especially if you're a bow hunter, then you're putting in some serious work to be able to put a well-placed shot on that animal and bring it back. You about to say yep. Something? Nope. That was perfect. Uh, hey there, mama. Hey, hey. Uh, someone got three. Yeah, yeah. 390 maple pecan keto bricks delivered today. Savage. Yeah, he got a bunch of bricks. He got a year's supply yeah. of bricks. Let's uh, we should we clarify that? Like what what we do with like the month supply and stuff? Yeah, so somebody emailed <clears throat> uh 
We get a lot of these emails after like a launch of like a new flavor or something. Yeah. So somebody emailed right after we launched and the the month's worth of the maple pecan sold out literally in like two or three minutes. Um, And there's only a handful of people that got them. And one person emailed back a pretty snarky email and they were like, you're just selling more two weeks than you are one month because you make more money on the two weeks, but you have the same amount of bricks. Which is true, but it's not true because we don't really make any more money on the two weeks. They are more expensive on a brick by brick basis, but when you factor in the cost of shipping that per brick, we're not really making any more of a margin. And we do that so that more people can have the opportunity to try these limited edition flavors as opposed to them all being, you know, one month, for instance, and them all just getting bought out. So that's why we have a smaller quantity of one month supplies. So yeah. Um, Last you- year when we did the buttered maple pecan, we did have a lot more one month supply up. And we sold out really, really quickly, and a bunch of people never got the opportunity to try them. So we decided to do a little bit less this time. And I'm pretty sure everyone who wanted to get one has gotten one. So that is part of the reason why we do that. I think a lot of people that follow us regularly recognize that. We're not like terrible people that just want your money. Um, But that, you know, there's a rhyme and reason for everything that we do. But we do definitely get several emails stating the same thing after a lot of like launches and things like that so but if you're like a hardcore like devout keto brick consumer and you're like i'm gonna be there at noon right yeah when launches, you got what you yeah we'll you, to you got you know you got what you got there for you know like you got there quickly you got all the bricks that you wanted and that's so wonderful and we're so thankful to every single brick that was purchased oops can we move that so i can um Priscilla says, hey, guys, never catch your lives. Happy I did this time. Hope you are having Aww. a good day. Well, hello, Priscilla. Thanks for joining us. Uh, um, dropped Mike says, love the bricks. The maple ones are some of my favorites. Dropped uh, my carb intake to 20 grams. Addy? 70. Oh, 70. Wowzers. Um, so a lot of carbs. Yeah, sorry. Dropped my carbs to 70 grams. I guess that would be a day. I think so. Um, I feel great. Um, heck yeah, game meat all the way. Um, all right, all right, all right. Greg is waving at us. Greg will be here tomorrow. Um, howdy guys. Uh, Brandon says preach. A lot of our hunters on here and people are excited about talking about game meat. Peter said, sorry if I affected people not being able to get bricks. Not my intention. Nope, not at all. That happened last year, and we actually made sure to make enough to where people could um, people could definitely buy, and there would still be plenty for people to buy in bulk, and then p- people to buy like singles or a week worth or two week worth. Peter emailed um, me the reason he got so many bricks. I think he's got an amazing reason. So I don't really care what your reason is. I'm thankful for you no matter what. So thank you. Don't feel bad about that at all. Because ev- like literally everyone who got a brick should have been able to get a brick. So I'm not worried about it at all. It's just the people who were like upset with the fact of like how we designated how much months were, t- uh, two weeks, one week, and singles we had. We got any more questions? No one's fault. Questions. Um, Greg said I clicked at 12 o'clock exactly. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I didn't package yours, Greg. I package several people, though. Several of my clients. Anytime we're back there packaging, we like, always look at the name. name comes up that we recognize. It's pretty cool. When are you going to come elk hunt with me, brother? Anytime, man. I'm actually going elk hunting. Uh, so get this. You'll appreciate the craziness here. So I shoot a 300 wind mag. I'm pretty sure you shoot a oh 300 wind mag, too. I was able to buy 20 rounds of 300 wind mag for 40 bucks all throughout my life. And then I've got this elk hunt in Colorado coming up. Uh, in November, and I've only got six bullets left. So I'm like, where in the world do I buy 300 wind mag? Because I've looked every store, I've looked online for like a couple <laughs> of years. They've been out. Yeah. So I found one. Ammo Seek sent me to this one website, and I had to buy that, and it was like 165 dollars plus 20 dollars in shipping, so 185 dollars for 20 rounds of 300 wind mag. Which just seems mean? crazy, but I was like, just buy them because. You know, we're already going on the hunt. We've already committed to doing this. So you have to have bullets. So let's uh, let's just follow through with that there. Um, I'm glad I got my bricks today. Thanks for making the maple again oh, this year. Yay. You betcha. 
Um, all right. So Brandon said, what's your favorite cut of deer meat? I'll tell you what, this is going to surprise you. Maybe it won't, but I am a huge fan of deer shanks. I feel like Tenderloins Only good. made in a certain way, though. The back straps are good. Those are all great. Don't get me wrong. I love tenderloins and back strap as much as the next guy. But also buco, venison shanks are like nobody even – most people just throw that away. And it's like probably my favorite part of the deer. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> thank you for being here, answering questions, and for creating the bricks. Well, thanks, Aww. Mike. We will definitely keep it up. I ordered for a week. Did I miss something? Sorry, I came late. I ordered for a week. Did I miss something? No, you no, didn't miss anything. Um, big five. Thank you for buying the lowest cost on ammo for the ones I buy compared to online. Big five. Big five. I've never shopped there. Um, uh, I don't have Smith those says, here. Hey, you two love your podcast with Jim Patero. I'm now following her journey on YouTube. So glad to hear from someone, uh, so candid about her experience. And I love the maple bricks. Yeah, glad she's rocking and rolling. It. She's got her show coming up. Um, so she's getting dialed in for that. Uh, Jared says, dude, I've been so hard to find ammo. What are you shooting? I have some you can shoot. I'll be in Colorado, too, the first week. I think I'm in there. No, I'm in there. Second, second week. Second yeah. week. Uh, I shoot a 300 Win Mag. I shoot the Hornady um, ELXD, e ELDX, ELXD, something like that, uh, 200 grain. Um, Sunny just said Hornady is millions of bullets behind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's super. Super bad, but like we haven't shot anything for fun. We haven't, you know, like even like targets or anything like that. We just haven't been shooting anything because ammo is so low right now. So yeah, it's great. It's been it's been a little rough there. It is crazy. Little rough. All right, any more questions, y'all? Don't mad us. All right, so, um, I just read that one. But can I talk about how much I love my trail runs? Sure. You gonna trail run with I me? I thought you were gonna say how much you love me, but Robert's like, "Yeah, I fell the other day. You want to run with me?" Sure. Yeah, that sounds like a great time. Yeah, probably you probably shouldn't run with me. <laughs> probably not. No, no baby on board running. So we actually went to this trail the other day, which I thought was like a trail, like a smooth trail, not like a climbing trail, which is fine. But I was not anticipating what we went to. We're wearing flip flops. Oh, I was wearing flip-flops for the day, but I just didn't have tennis shoes on me or anywhere near me. So we went to this trail, and it was not flip-flop attire trail. You are pretty good, though. Yeah, it was pretty good. You are pretty good. It was pretty fun. Um, we need some more questions, though. What but we you want to talk about your trail trail running? Sent a request to be in your live video. I'll throw my off-road trail shoes. In the, yeah, bring your – I was going to mention that. Oh, yeah, that's uh, a good idea. Bring your trail shoes – I don't want the worst thing ever would be if you came here on Thursday, tomorrow. Wow, that's crazy. You're coming here tomorrow. Um, and we went trail running, and then you fell, broke something, snagged something, whatever. And then nothing that you came here for we could do because you're injured. So maybe I'm probably just worrying too much. But when you I'm in a prep and I'm like in a super de steep deficit, I'm more subject to like injury. So I try to think about that. But yeah, bring your trail shoes for sure. Thank you. Love the bricks. Love the bricks. Slap it the yeah, bricks. Yeah, what man. else should he bring? Um, I think that, that'd be good. Michael Dennehy. We need to do a call, Michael. What is the relationship between time and attention, duration, and hypertrophy and strength? What time ranges? What is the relationship between time under tension, duration, and hypertrophy and strength? What time ranges? So I like to do a uh, one up, two down count. So, like, if I'm doing bench press, for instance, uh, basically one count up, two counts down, so that because the um, the eccentric portion, so when you're elongating the muscle as opposed to contracting the muscle, is easier um, for most intents and purposes. So, I like to have that contain a longer time under tension. Not contain contains not the right word, but have basically a longer time under tension <clears throat> for the eccentric part of the movement. So, I'll do a one part concentric, two part eccentric, and that seems to work pretty well for me. And it makes my workouts not last forever. Some people do like this super slow training method in which they'll do like one set of each exercise, but each rep is like just sloth slow. And I'm not, I'm not really a fan of that personally. Greg says, so we can't, okay, we can run Saturday and Sunday. 
Yeah, it'll be good. Sunny said, you should take Greg to Yellow Rock at Devil's Den. It's only two miles and gorgeous. No, I haven't no. been there yet. We're in Arkansas, Northwest Arkansas by Fayetteville. Um, Charlie and Jody said, a few I totally forgot uh, in I totally forgot in Sunday. I just placed my order for the buttermilk pecan bricks. So oh, yay. To, get to try them <laughs> this year. Yeah, you looked out. I don't know how much longer they'll be on the site there. Yeah. Um, just left Jim free for call rest of the evening. I will call you as soon as I leave this live at five, Michael, and then I'll head to my run. But yeah, I'll call you as soon as this live at five is over, man. And we'll get our elk hunt trip details ironed out. But I did get that. I don't know if you just now got on, but I did get some ammunition, Michael. So don't worry. I've got some bullets all as well. All as well. You leaving me, babe? You leaving me? Um, all right, what else we got, y'all? What else we got? Any other questions, concerns, comments, feedback? We just got our screen printing press equipment in this week. Got all that installed, and we're going to test print a mock shirt this week. So super excited about that. Get ready for some Live Savage Apparel updates in the very near future. Are you holding after concentric for a few seconds before eccentric? I don't really hold that long because if you hold, like if you, if you hold and your muscles are still uh, contracted quite a bit as they should be, that's not a bad thing. But a lot of times, like with bench press, people will lock out, and that's their hold. Then then they go into the eccentric, but that's not good because then all the weight transfers to your skeletal structure and not your muscular structure. Um, so I don't really do a much of a hold. Now that said, when I am doing squats, I'll do pause reps on squats. Um, so I'll go all the way to the bottom, and then I'll kind of sit with it for a second for like a breath count just to simply remove all momentum, all bounce, and then I'll come up out of the hole. Nope, sorry. Um, Joseph says, hey, Sykes, did a week elk hunt in Colorado in mid-September. Ate a brick nice. a day. Thanks Ooh, for what you guys do. Awesome. I'll be eating bricks on my elk hunt for show. Did you get yeah. one? Where you Did you come back with a full freezer? Yeah, also during hunting season, people, if you guys happen to, well, clearly while you're hunting, you're not going to be taking pictures of bricks. But if you are out and you're... You can, though. Yeah, the point? if you are, we would totally take those pictures, share them with our um, following on the Keto Brick pages and stuff. We, we are a very hunting-friendly brand. Yeah, so if you guys want to, send us pictures or tag us, and we'll reshare those. I just made a grass-fed steak, says nice. Iris. That sounds delicious. Uh, how is Crystal feeling? How are you feeling? <laughs> um, I'm feeling pretty good. Just different different things every day. Um, did you make a decision on a cycling kit? I have not yet made a decision on a cycling kit um, for the apparel. Yes, I would totally do a cycling kit. Like I'm not opposed to that at all. I 100% want to do that. I just want to get the T-shirts mastered before we try and make cycling kits uh i don't want to put the cart ahead of the horse too much but yeah we'll get the t-shirts mastered then we're we'll getting all that kinds that of questions when you're gonna have the ladies like lady savage line when are you gonna have a baby savage line when are you gonna have a we did oh my get gosh, a cool everything onesie the other day though somebody it sent was us really some onesies. cute uh one of my clients sent us some onesies and they're green and one of them says mama's fu mommy's future spotter mm -hmm. and then one says daddy's future spotter and then he sent me a shirt it's also green and it says deadlifts or dumbbells, deadlifts, and diapers or something. Yeah, like that. super cute. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, all right, y'all. What else we got? We might just have to do a an early live. Early like live. All right. Let's um let's take a question for next week or a topic for next week and we'll go with it. Yeah, what's a good question for next week? <clears throat> what is a good question for next week? We had a uh, Sunny said a good live at five thing would be talk about the different federations in bodybuilding. Oof, that's different a long divisions, one. different classes. Um, so we could definitely talk about that. That'd be good. There's just a million of them. What's that say? Do you ever post day of eating both in cut, maintenance, bulk, reverse recovery? Yeah. So Robert did a whole um, day of eating every single week for his his that's cut. Crap. Um, yeah, for his contest prep this last year. Um, so if you go to our YouTube channel, Live Savage, his entire contest prep is on there. And, and it, the reverse diet, too. Yeah, and the reverse diet. And it goes through exactly what he ate. Um, and then we have definitely done some full day of eating for both of us on there. I've done a few. Um, we haven't done one recently, but 
that was that was a really good thing that Robert did. Um, hello, Sam. Just got my maple bricks today and I ordered more. I'm obsessed. Hope you're feeling well, Crystal. Well, awesome. Thank I'm you. glad you got them. They're safe and sound and you love them. Uh, fat versus protein for fat loss. I feel like this talk about a lot, though. Yeah, yeah you did I do a video, about, a really good video of it. Yeah, I did just do a video on that and I went pretty deep. Um, that is a very, very popular topic question right now, for yeah. sure. Uh, HRV overview. Did we, I think we did that once too. I'm almost positive know. we did that in one of our lab at fives. Almost, I'll double check them. I'm curious as to how it may be useful for strength since it's interesting for stress and endurance athletics. Um, yeah, I can't, for whatever reason, my aura ring is not connecting. So I don't even know what my HRV is right now. I, like I, I am very curious to see how aura ring is doing in general because my ring like completely pooped out on me. And did they make me pay for that? I can't remember if they gave me a discount or what, but my ring stopped charging. And so they, I had to get a whole brand new ring, whole brand new setup. And that was kind of a bummer. And now Robert's ring isn't connecting. So that's kind of a, a bummer. I mean, we've had them for several years. Like Robert got the, his two and a half, three years, like three years ago. And I got mine like two years ago, but now I have a new ring. But they sent me the wrong stinking color. Any chance of a chocolate chip cookie dough flavor in the future? That sounds pretty delicious. That sounds pretty good. We're like always going to make softer. some new flavors. Um, um, they said for next week, Chrono oh. Nutrition. What is Chrono Nutrition? Chrono, sorry. I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. Congrats on the babe. Sorry. Thank yeah, you. But uh, we can talk about HRV stuff. I'm done with that. Yeah, that would be a good thing to talk about. We'll Mine talk about is that. super flipping low. All yeah, the stinking time. I'll see if I can fix my ring by then. Um, all right, y'all. Much love. Take care. Toodaloo. Ta-ta for now. Talk to you soon. See you later. Oh, this one is oh. tandem with that. I'm interested in that, too. I have too many devices. Garmin watch, heart rate strap, bike, computer, phone apps. Wow. Yeah, the asking. can get We can definitely talk about HRV and then maybe... Um, certain apps. Yeah, so. certain apps that are, are the best. Yeah. Or uh, devices, I suppose. Yeah. Cool, um, cool. Awesome, y'all. Take care. Talk to you next time. Thank you very much.